What's up, you guys? So uh, today is Saturday. I've been working some crazy, crazy hours from like 2 in the morning all the way up to like 3, 4, even 5 in the afternoon. Just crazy hours. Um, I've been going out of state a lot. The whole week I was out of state actually. And today is Saturday and it's my day off. They wanted me to work, but I'm, I'm too tired for that. So basically, after work I would come home and I would do a little bit of uh, work to the Civic. The Civic that's of my uh, buddies for that paint job that I got to do. And I finally got it finished. I'm about to lay some coats down. I didn't record because of the fact that I was so tired. I was like a zombie during the week. Uh, last night I got some good rest and I'm ready to lay this paint down. So everything's ready. I don't know if you guys remember there were some really big holes in the back. I had to redo this whole thing on this side. This side had like like two BB shots on this side or something. And then on the roof, the roof had like a lot of rust right here. Went ahead and I sanded all that down. And let me tell you guys that I couldn't pick up my second vehicle that I was planning on, on doing the deal with but I did call the guy up today and I will go over today and get this vehicle I will make a video on the vehicle later on um, so with that being said I needed to get a bumper and a fender for my buddy but I went to the junkyard one day and they didn't have it so I couldn't be going to the junkyard doing the body work and going to work because I was too tired. I did end up getting like four hours of sleep each uh, night and then going back to work and getting this job done. So I had to sacrifice the back bumper out of my Civic and the fender. But it's not a big deal because I'm getting the other vehicle today. So the plans are to get this Civic and turn it into a drag monster single overhead cam. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna do a complete, uh, what's it called? It's gonna lose a shitload of weight and we're gonna go ahead and pull that motor out and build it. The goal is to make that car weigh 2,000 pounds. I don't know how, but we're gonna do it. So basically, I laid also some water all over the floor. Oh, this camera is acting up again. Let me see. There you go. Alright, so I laid some water all over the floor on this side. And I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, you guys have seen this before. I've done it four or five times where I show you how to do these paint jobs. So I'm not going to show you guys, I'm just going to go ahead and just get started and we'll see what it looks like in a few minutes. So I just laid the first coat. This is really, really thin coat. What I'm using to paint this with is this right here. Gloss Royal Blue Rust-Oleum. I'm mixing, this is a 32 ouncer, I'm, mis I'm mixing half of this, so half of this, with 4 ounces of paint thinner, and then I'm pouring it into my gun. This gun is a Harbor Freight gun, $15 gun, nothing special. So I laid the first coat to make everything tacky, and it's looking pretty glossy already. So I think I'm going to give it, I usually do around 
15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes in between coats. I think I'm gonna do right now um, either 20 or 30 minutes in between coats. Give it a little bit more time to settle down and to dry up a little bit more before I lay my second coat. I do have my bikes covered up. I have the neon covered up and I have the other one the Civic on the outside. So I'll come back in 25 30 minutes and we'll give it a second coat. So I finished the paint job. This is three coats. It's completely dry now. This is the royal blue. So my buddy got his car painted. I did, uh, like I said before, I did give him my back bumper off of my Civic. And I did give him my fender also. You can see his back bumper was missing a piece right here. And then you can see how bad his fender was. It was all smashed up. And then I also took off his wipers and I donated my wipers to him because his were pretty bad. So with that being said, my Civic, like I had told you guys before, basically what I'm thinking of doing is removing the power steering. My power steering does have a leak somewhere. I'm not sure where it's at, but I did have to refill it. So I'm just going to go ahead and eliminate it. Since it's going to be a track car, not a track car, a, a, a drag strip car. I'm going to eliminate that, eliminate as much stuff as I can. My goal is to make this thing weigh 2,000 pounds. So I'm thinking of removing the dash, removing everything, leaving one seat in there chopping everything that I need to take off to make this a really really light car another thing is my wife's Civic has been acting up when I go to start it let me get the keys see if they're in my pocket let me check When I go to start it, it feels like the battery is drained. Like now it's normal, but let me try it again. You hear it? Doesn't want to start. Turn these wipers off. I don't even know how to. There it is. Yeah, so I'm thinking of just taking the battery out of my Civic and putting it in this Civic, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna pull her battery out and I'm gonna throw it on the charger for a while and see if it catches charge but I believe it's the same battery in this car and that car so I'd rather have her have my battery in this car because of the fact that I don't want her to be stranded with the kids while I'm working or something so I'd rather do that it's been a few more days since I last recorded uh, my buddy came over, he picked up his Civic, he was very, very happy with the paint job, he loved the blue. Um, I went ahead and I headed over to go get the vehicle that I was uh, that I was making the deal on. Let me tell you what it was, it was a 2008 Honda Odyssey, it had the whole towing package and everything. I gave the guy 500 bucks, um, needed an alternator, the guy said he would replace it. So I came back home, two days later I went back for the Odyssey. Well, it turned out that the transmission, the Odyssey was bad. 
So the guy had already spent my money, and he didn't have my money to give it back. So we ended up negotiating for another vehicle. So therefore, I'm going to be able to work on the Civic. The Civic's now going to officially uh, be stripped, and I'm going to be able to do whatever I got to do to the Civic. But the bad thing is that I don't have a tow vehicle. But it's all right because my brother-in-law wants the vehicle that I got right now, which is this right here. This is what I picked up when I ended up negotiating the guy. It's really, really clean. There's no rust. There's nothing. It runs really good. It's a C28 Camaro. It has the 5.7 liter. It runs really good. As you can see, I haven't been driving it. I've been driving the Civic around, my wife's car. But yeah, with the fact that the Civic is not gonna be done fast, that it's gonna take some time, that'll give me some time to get a tow vehicle so I can tow my Civic around. So right now, what I'm doing is word has gotten around that I do body work and stuff. So this guy has a little work truck and it's got it had a bunch of rust down here all of this so I had to rebuild that hose section down there and he wants me to paint let me see this door right here from here on down I scuffed it you can see it doesn't look as glossy as the top I'm gonna repaint that and then I'm gonna do the same door on the other side so that's basically what I've been up to done a video and pretty soon, hopefully this week, we can start stripping the Civic out and getting everything ready. And start pulling that motor out so we can build it. So with that being said, I'll catch you guys on my next video. Till then, peace out. Stay safe. Hope you guys like the little update. And I'll catch you guys later.